Hi, I'm Carrie Wilbanks here in Prince Albert National Park in Saskatchewan, Canada. Come along because I'm going to show you some of the best this gorgeous area has to offer. We did the Learn to Fish program this morning, which comes in two parts. So there's an onshore part, which is kind of the fishing regulations both inside the park, outside the park. And then we just did the on water part where you kind of go over how to fish actually on the water. So we do jigging, uh, we do some trolling, and then we do casting. And those three different methods usually work pretty well to catch some pike, walleye, and then depending on which lake you're in, maybe some lake trout, but there's also white fish in the lake as well. I think the Learn to Fish program is good for people who are trying to figure out what fishing is, how it works, because the Learn to Fish program is based on teaching people the right way to fish, proper catch and release, and kind of sustainability. So what's great about fishing in the National Park is just the regulations are laid out so there's fishing here for generations to come. We'd love to invite everybody to come out and experience the Learn to Fish program. If you just like to call the marina, we'll try and get you set up for a day and get you out on the water the best we can. Experiences here revolve around water, but you don't have to be on it to enjoy it. Hiking is one of the best ways to take in some views. Hi, my name is Natalie. I'm the lead guide here at the Wasco Sioux Marine Adventure Centre. A favourite of a lot of people that come to visit the National Park is the Wasco Sioux River Trail. It does have half a kilometre of boardwalk that goes right along the Wasco Sioux River. Opportunities to see different varieties of, of birds, occasionally some other creatures such as muskrats or maybe even beavers. Then the trail continues for another two kilometres into the forest. It takes you through a variety of different landscapes and sceneries. It's a really nice place for families and people of different multi-generations to get out and, and explore the, the trails together. Water sports are a definite must when visiting Prince Albert National Park and fortunately there are a lot of options. I've decided to go stand up paddleboarding. I decided to run to stand up paddleboard because the water was like glass, making for perfect conditions. I could have easily paddled into the sunset, but we are getting ready for an evening dinner cruise with Wasca Sioux Marinas, which ended up being another major wildlife highlight. So we travel through the first Heart Lake, which is the smallest of the three. Uh, we enter into a channel. Today we had the privilege of seeing a moose. Moving into the second Heart Lake, it is the longest and the largest of the three. Green Lake takes you to the aqua blue water, which is more reminiscent of lakes in northern Saskatchewan. Just very clear, very pristine. Uh, we saw one other boat, otherwise it was very, very peaceful. You could hear the, the birds, you could hear the water lapping on the boat. Tonight we had a very authentic um, Saskatchewan meal with some walleye and uh, wild rice with some seasonal vegetables. It was just a nice place to just kind of sit and reflect and relax as you're eating your meal. We want to give you something that you're going to remember, you're going to take home, you're going to tell all your friends about it, and you're going to want to come back and do it all over again. You get trees, you get water, you get scenery, and it's just a little piece of heaven. Mm -hmm.